OK, so there's a couple different ways to solve uh, co simplify complex fractions. And just for each one of these videos, I'm just going to try to do it a little bit differently. And you can kind of decide uh, for which problem that you're going to be working on, what is the preferred method that you want to go through. So we've already talked about multiplying by the reciprocal in your denominator. And that works great when you just have one simple fraction in your denominator. But now when you have an expression, just multiplying by the reciprocal is not going to be able to cut it. So there's a couple things we can do. One, if we have two fractions that are being added or subtracted inside our denominator or in our numerator, we can combine them so it's just into one simple fraction. Then we could always multiply by the reciprocal. So that's the way that I'm going to uh, work on this problem. Let's just look at our denominator exclusively for the moment. And let's say, all right, I want to create this to one single fraction. Because then once I have it as one single fraction, I can apply the operation we've done before by multiplying by its reciprocal. So what I'll do is just kind of over here on the side, let's combine 3 over x plus 6 over y. So when combining, again, fractions, remember we have to have the exact same denominator. So I look at this and I determine that my LCD is going to be xy. Right? That's going to be the least common denominator for these two values. So to get xy for my denominators, I'll multiply this fraction by x over x and this one by y over y. Therefore, I now have a simplified denominator of 3y plus 6x divided by xy. So I'm going to rewrite my problem with that. So I'll have 12 over 3y plus 6x. And actually, let's use this a different color, just so we can distinguish between the numerator and our denominator. OK, perfect. So now what I need to do is just simply multiply by my reciprocals. So I'm just going to take, so now I have a fraction that I can multiply by the reciprocal on. So I'll multiply the reciprocal, which is going to be xy over 3y plus 6x. And I multiply that in the denominator and also the numerator. OK. So we know that any fraction multiplied by its reciprocal is going to, divide, is going to multiply to 1. Now I have 12 times xy divided by 3y plus 6. And I notice that the 3y plus 6x, they'll share a common term of 3. So I can factor that out. And also we notice that 12 is a whole number. But I can rewrite that as a fraction. So when I rewrite that as a fraction, I'll do this down below, I'll have 12 over 1 times xy divided by 3y plus 2x. All right. Now we can see we have multiplication going across. The only thing I have addition, it's inside my parentheses. So it's contained with inside the parentheses. However, now I can divide out terms as needed only across uh, multiplication. So I can take 12 divided by 3, which is going to leave me with a 4. I cannot simplify the x, y with these x and y's because these are separated amongst addition. And we cannot divide out amongst addition or subtraction. Therefore, my final answer is going to be 4xy divided by y plus 2x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify your complex fractions. Thanks.